today in this video we are going to talk about Superboy. See, Titan Season 2 is starting like next week, September 6th, and in this video we are going to talk about Connor Kent aka Superboy, who will be appearing in Titans Season 2. First of all, there's been many people that become Superboy, there are so many. So, the one that is coming in Titans Season 2 is Connor Kent, and the one we're focusing on here is Connor Kent. I'm pretty much going to tell you who is his, who he is, his origin, and everything you need to know about him. So without further ado, let's get into it. Connor Kent Superboy first appeared in the Adventures of Superman in uh, issue 500 in June 1993. And he was created by Carl Kurson and Tom Grement. I probably said that last name wrong, I'm sorry. I can't speak properly, so yeah. Anyway, uh, his origin takes place like after the, after the death of Superman storyline. Uh, after we got the death of Superman storyline, we got the reign of Superman storyline, which in the Reign of Superman storyline, we have four Superman: Steel, the Radicator, Cyborg, Superman, and of course, Superboy. After Superman died, murdered by Doomsday, uh, his body was stolen by a scientist that worked for uh, Cadmus. Uh, they wanted to clone Superman because they uh, believed that the world, that Earth, needs a Superman, so that's why they did it. So yeah, Cadmus, Cadmus did clone Superman, but it, it wasn't good at the first try. Like they failed the first try. Connor Kent Superboy is the 13th attempt to clone Superman. Superboy wasn't actually a clone of Superman at first. He was actually a clone of the human Paul Westfield, who was the director of Cadmus. He then, um, they changed his genetics and stuff by um, adding Superman's DNA. They like obviously changed the way how he looked and gave him Superman-like powers. So he's a human, but with uh, genetic uh, tampering, which is like getting all those powers. He didn't get every single su Superman power, you know, just a, a lot of them, but he couldn't get like heat vision or whatever. During the cloning process, they were going to add a failsafe just in case if they, if he didn't listen to them, just in case when they needed to control him. So yeah, and then like, um, but before like they could implant the failsafe and before the clone was fully matured, he was uh, broken out. He was broken out by a group of young kids called the Newsboy Legion. They broke him out and they gave him his iconic 90s jacket and then they said, Good luck, Superboy, and they said, Hey, don't ever call me Superboy. The name is Superman. He tried to make everyone call him Superman, but that didn't work out. Everyone just called him Superboy and then he decided to take the name, but gradually, so yeah. And then he was in the 98 Young Justice comics and when he was in the comics we find out that he is a clone of Superman, half a clone of Superman, but his other half, his human half is not, is actually a clone of Lex Luthor. Bum, bum, bum. I'm an idiot. <laughs> so it, it was a bit of a lie, you know. It was he he was he was told a lie about his origin and all that. And then like he gets a new suit, which is obviously the T-shirt with the red Superman symbol stuff like that. So yeah, and he actually gets the rest of Kryptonian abilities, like the ability to fly. I think actually yeah, no no. Sorry, he gets other abilities like he vision. He always had the ability to fly. So yeah. Then he died in, in in the Infinity Crisis storyline. He died and he was murdered by Superman Prime, who, I mean Superboy Prime, sorry. Superman Bri Prime, who's from another Earth and stuff. But he came back to life eventually, like in Final Crisis, I believe. Yeah, and then like, Flashpoint happened and then the New 52 happened. In the New 52, Superboy Connor Kent was there, but he, I wasn't really a fan of. He was boring. I'm not even going to tell you, I'm just going to save you time, you know. You don't even know, need to know anything about it. Then after that, they just acted like he doesn't exist for a while. But then they brought him back. Most recently, uh, Connor Kent is back in the Young Justice uh, story, in the Young Justice comics by Brian Michael Bendis. So Superboy, it looks, he looks like Superboy from the 90s, the old Superboy costume. Looks like he's coming back, you know? So yeah, it looks like he's back, so yeah. Now let's get into powers and abilities. Obviously, uh, Connor Kent Superboy has pretty much all the abilities of a Kryptonian, you know, superhuman strength, uh, flight, invulnerability, speed, super hearing, heat vision, x-ray vision, stamina, ice breath, all that stuff, you know, uh, pretty much, yeah, all the abilities of a uh, Kryptonian stuff. But he also has, like, telekinesis, telekinesis powers, telekinetic powers, sorry, and, for example, here, he touches something and he was able to uh, fall into pieces. This is called telekinetic dis uh, uh, disassemble. He also has telekinetic blast where he can able to get a lot of energy and he blasted out, not like heat vision, like blasted out and stuff like that. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, there you go. That's pretty much everything you need to know about Superboy, like his origin and stuff, before he appears in the Titan show. So, yeah. 
Uh, please like, uh, subscribe, hit the bell to get new notification videos. Comment, out, comment down below if you're excited for Superboy. And share this with your friends and family. And yeah, peace.